Mm-hmm. So I've been meaning to do a hummus recipe for some time now, but equally, I've also been really interested in experimenting with lima beans. Lima beans is something I'm seeing in the grocery for the longest while and I never cooked it. So I actually never had lima beans before. And I was going to make the hummus, you know, traditional with the chickpeas or the chana, but I was having a little brainstorming meeting with Raquel and just kind of going through some of the stuff that I needed to do. And she was like, hey, why do you make the hummus with the lima beans? And I was like, that's a brilliant idea. So here we are. I'm going to make a baby lima beans hummus. So other than using lima beans, which not traditional in hummus, um, all the other ingredients will be your traditional ingredients. I have garlic, you know, garlic is a staple in hummus. I'm using a uh, lime because that is the acid I have. Um, usually they'd use lemon juice, but I'm using lime juice because again, that's what I have. I'll just use less lime juice because lime could be a little more pungent, a little more acidic than lemon juice. And of course, I'll be using jeera or cumin up in there as well. That is a, you know, signature spice in hummus. And I also have the baby lima beans that have been soaking for a couple hours. You can leave them to soak overnight, but I had these soaking for about three to four hours. So this is what we'll be cooking today. And I'll also be using olive oil. So let me get this thing started. So to get the baby lima beans started, I'm just gonna add them to the pressure cooker. And I'm gonna add about two cups of water. Now we're not adding any salt, any garlic or anything like that at this point. At this point, all we want to do is to cook the beans. Um, we don't wanna add any flavor into it yet. All we're doing right now is just getting them cooked. So I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna pressure cook it for 15 minutes. Okay, so we are the 15 minute mark here and I check in the beans and while they are tender, I guess kind of tender, they're not as tender as I would like them. This is, I guess, good if you're going to eat like beans and rice or something like that. But I want to get it softer than this. So I add in two more cups of water here. And we're going to pressure cook this for another 15 minutes. So in total, that would be four cups of water and instead of cooking it for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and we should have nice and tender beans. Okay, I think this is what we're looking for here. The beans are extremely soft and tender, creamy. So we're good to go here. Let's move on to the next step. To season the hummus, we're using one teaspoon of whole jeera, now, we have to grind it, or we should grind it, because I go in for a very smooth consistency in my hummus. And if you don't have a spice grinder, you could use the roasted jeera powder that you will find in the grocery. But I didn't want to use the roasted version because that will change the flavor profile of the hummus. So I'm using the quote-unquote raw jeera that I'm just gonna add to my spice grinder here. And I'm gonna grind this into a powder. Again, if you don't have a spice grinder and you want to use the roasted jeera powder, you can go ahead and use that. But that will change the flavor profile of the hummus. Um, the raw jeera or the untoasted, unroasted jeera is more of the traditional flavor that you would find in hummus. Okay, good to go here. Now it's time to go to the food processor to blend our hummus together. So we're gonna add our beans to the food processor. Now we're gonna add our jeera. Add in two cloves of garlic. Squeezing the juice of half of our lime into there. pinch of salt to taste. And remember, we could always adjust the salt, so you don't wanna add too much salt now. You could always add later when we taste it. I'm going in with a third of a cup of olive oil. Now, blitz. Now I'm gonna taste for salt. 
could do with a pinch more. So I'm a pinch more salt there. Blitz again. All right, giving it one final taste here. Mm-hmm. Good to go. Good to go. So that's it. A quick and easy baby lima bean hummus. And of course, if you want to keep this super traditional, you can add your tahini to it. But tahini a little more on the expensive side, so I opted to leave it out for this. But definitely, if you want to make a totally classic traditional hummus, you would add your tahini in there as well. So now I just want to take the back of this spoon and just place a little swirl to the top of the hummus. I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. And for the final touches, I'm going to just sprinkle some sumac on top. I have a little bit of our hummus here on some toast with some celery on top, some chopped celery going in for a taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, this is in real things. It's creamy, smooth, and kind of buttery because you like my beans. I guess it's a little softer, cooked a little softer than um, chana or chickpeas. You get that nice, earthiness, that warmth from the jira and that little hint of citrus from the lime juice. Yeah, man. This, proper. I would say, give this a try. And I mean, this is a real nice thing to make. It's not super expensive. It, you know, relatively budget-friendly, except for like the olive oil, but all the other ingredients, affordable. And it's something that you can make and put out, like you have a lime, a little dinner party or something. You pay it out there, it looks a little fancy, but I mean, truth be told, it's not really nothing big and fancy, but with the right presentation, you know, it could impress people, it could impress people. This is, you know, a nice little something to have on display. Also, you could cut up your carrot sticks, your celery stems here, your celery stalks, and just have this as a snack. You put this in the fridge, and anytime you feel for a little snack, you have a healthy little vegan snack here. You just use your hummus as a dip, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give it a share. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so and ring the bell to be notified every time we post new content. I will post a link in the video description to the full recipe, so look out for that. And if you tried the recipe, post your photos on social media, would love to see it. And yeah, if you have any other ingredients you would add to this baby lima bean hummus, let me know, or any other beans or peas you like to use to make your hummus, let me know in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.